Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is uh, the first part of the introductory course on design of BLDC motors. Because of uh, several messages and requests, I decided to record videos of this course and upload them on my YouTube channel. So this uh, video is the first part of the course and in this video I am going to explain you an overview of uh, the course and the contents that we will cover during this course, the software that uh, we use and so on. The objective of this course is design of a 1 HP motor. Actually, I consider this induction motor as benchmark. This is a 1 HP induction motor, the properties of a 1 HP induction motor. The output power is 1 HP. This is the synchronous speed and the outer stator diameter stack length. This is the core length. Uh, stator core and rotor core should be lower than 70 mm. Line to line voltage, efficiency and power factor. Okay, uh, these are uh, properties of the benchmark induction motor. And what we are going to do is design of counterpart BLDC motor for the same output power and speed in the same frame number and see how much uh, is difference between the efficiency of our design and existing induction motor and compare them in terms of line current, power density, motor weight and so on. Okay, this is the benchmark induction motor. Actually, I selected two 1 HP induction motors from well-known uh, brands. Uh, Siemens and Weg. So this is the nameplate of the Siemens motor. You can see the properties here like uh, the power factor that is 0.8. Efficiency is 72.1. This is uh, IE1 efficiency class. So uh, in this course at first we will talk about the properties of PLDC motors and uh, comparison of this motor type with conventional DC motors, brush DC motor and then we will do we will do analytic design of the motor. Uh, this is introduction. We will talk about the motor properties, uh, the idea behind BLDC motors, and uh, then we will start the analytic design of the motor, and uh, we will talk about the electromagnetic design procedure, and the equations that are needed for analytic design, and uh, then we will implement these uh, analytic equations into this Excel file. Actually, I prepared uh, this Excel file for uh, analytic design of the motor and uh, I implemented all of uh, that equations into this Excel file to calculate uh, motor main dimensions, properties, number of turns, weight of active parts and so on and uh, after uh, analytic design of the motor we will uh, start finite element analysis of motor to validate to investigate our design is uh, our analytic design correct or not uh, can we get desired outputs like as uh, output torque, output power uh, or not. So 
for design of BLDC motors, we need to do different uh, finite element calculations. For example, the first one that is uh, important one is calculation of the magnetic loading. So we calculate the radial flux density in the middle of air gap to calculate the magnetic loading. For example, here is 0.8 and uh, we compare the value of magnetic loading with our analytic design to check if uh, our assumption for magnetic loading at the beginning of the design is correct or not. And then we will continue by doing uh, other finite element calculations like back EMF simulation, dynamic simulation, armature field calculation that is uh, needed for calculation of the self and the uh, mutual inductance. This is uh, our view of the project. This is uh, magnetic loading. Actually, I prepared this file before and uh, in my previous uh, presentations and projects okay but uh, in this course uh, we are going to design the motor from scratch so we will generate the geometry and we will do all settings uh, from scratch and uh, you don't need to worry about uh, designs here just i am going to explain to you the procedure and the contents that we are going to cover during this course uh, you don't need to have a, a strong background of uh, ansys maxwell software i will explain you all uh, settings and contents that you need to analyze uh, bldc motors uh, as you can see here, we have uh, this project and under each project we can insert uh, multiple designs for uh, different purposes. Uh, for example, this one is calculation of the magnetic loading. This is uh, calculation of the phase back EMFs. Armature field calculation and finally uh, dynamic simulation to run the motor from the zero speed and uh, evaluate the real-time performance of the motor. ANSYS Maxwell software is good because uh, it has a powerful parametric environment and uh, you can uh, generate uh, parametric designs here easily change uh, these parameters and update all of these designs uh, you can uh, do uh, parametric calculations sweep calculations uh, that uh, as you know is very good for sensitivity analysis uh, purposes and uh, in ansys maxwell software we can uh, generate a drive circuit as you can see here, this is the drive circuit of the BLDC motor that we will uh, generate and uh, we will uh, cover it in uh, next videos. You can uh, link this external circuit to uh, the finite element model and do a real-time dynamic simulation that is very good. During the course, sometimes uh, we need to use MATLAB software and uh, I will write uh, I will write uh, some M files to calculate uh, uh, some of motor properties for example when we are going to set the motor winding so I, I, I will uh, write uh, M file so why MATLAB? Because the MATLAB software is uh, 
very powerful in sense of numerical calculations. Many, many built-in functions are available in MATLAB and you can use them effectively and uh, save your time. If you want to use low-level language, so uh, you should install packages and other stuff uh, that we don't need as a, a designer to put time on uh, that tasks. In this part of the course, uh, I will explain to you how we can do dynamic simulation uh, faster. Dynamic simulation in uh, using finite element method is very time consuming because uh, uh, we need to couple circuit, e circuit equations with the field equations and we need to run the simulation uh, with a fine time step size. So the simulation will be time consuming. But uh, as you know, for the purpose of the design, uh, we need to use uh, faster methods because uh, we have to analyze uh, many cases to reach the final design. So in this part of the course, I will explain you how we can do dynamic simulation by uh, direct solving of the field equations. So uh, I will explain you the equations for simulation of the motor considering uh, this inverter and uh, uh, I will explain this uh, analytic method uh, how we can uh, use this analytic method to find the motor currents and the speed uh, during the dynamic simulation. We will also cover some advanced topics like uh, the magnetization study and uh, calculation of the motor efficiency uh, at the end and uh, finally we will conclude the uh, course okay so this uh, was just an overview of the topics that uh, we will cover during this course and uh, uh, it's good to pause here and uh, let's uh, continue in the next uh, video. So uh, in this uh, course, we will use uh, ANSYS Maxwell, MATLAB and Excel, uh, this uh, software for uh, the purpose of uh, design of uh, BLDC motors. Uh, okay, thanks for watching and see you in the next uh, video. Bye.